Welcome to another interesting video of Untold Discoveries. I hope you're doing great today. Euphrates was the longest river of Western Asia, but now a large portion of the Middle East lost freshwater reserves rapidly during the past decade. New data revealed already an arid region of Tigris-Euphrates Basin, which grows even drier due to human consumption of water for drinking and agriculture. The research team observed the Tigris and Euphrates river basins, including parts of Turkey, Syria, Iraq and Iran, and found that 144 cubic kilometers, 117 million acre feet, of fresh water was lost from 2003 to 2009, the roughly equivalent to the volume of the Dead Sea. About 60% of the loss was attributed to the pumping of groundwater from underground reservoirs. When a drought shrinks the available surface water supply, irrigators and others turn to groundwater. According to Jay Famiglietti, GRACE data show an alarming rate of decrease in total water storage in the Tigris and Euphrates river basins, which currently have the second fastest rate of groundwater storage loss on Earth, after India. The rate was especially striking after the 2007 drought. Meanwhile, demand for fresh water continues to rise, and the region does not coordinate its water management because of different interpretations of international laws. This images were acquired by the Landsat 5 satellite and show the shrinking of the Qadisiyah Reservoir in Iraq between September 7, 2006 and September 15, 2009. The first graph shows the elevation of the water in that reservoir between January 2003 and December 2009. The elevation is a proxy measurement for the total volume of water stored there. Labels show the water elevation at the time of the satellite images. The second graph shows the water storage for the entire study area as measured by GRACE in the same period. The gray line depicts total water storage in the region groundwater, surface water bodies, and soil moisture while the green line depicts changes in surface water. The difference between those two lines reflects the change in water stored in underground aquifers, groundwater. On March 20, 2009, a news published on N National Public Radio, with the title Drought Reveals Iraqi Archaeological Treasures, the drying up of the Euphrates River have revealed ancient archaeological sites, some of which were unknown until now attracts my attention and make me think about these hadith saying of prophets, soon the river Euphrates will disclose the treasure, the mountain, of gold. So, who will be present at that time should not take anything from him. The Prophet Muhammad said, the hour will not come to pass before the river Euphrates dries up to unveil the mountain of gold, for which people will fight 99 of every hundred will die in the fighting. And every man among them will say, maybe I'm the only one to remain alive. The Prophet Muhammad said, the Euphrates reveals the treasures within itself, whoever sees it should not take anything from him. It, the Euphrates, will uncover a mountain of gold in it. Many of the prophecies especially related to signs of the judgment day that our beloved prophet Muhammad e stated 1,400 years ago have come true. A prophecy that the drying of the Euphrates River is concerned, gold digging has yet to come true. This prophecy is a prophecy critical, as expected war is closely linked to the coming of the Mahdi. Cliffs that were submerged now reveal pre-Christian tombs built into rock face. What once was an enormous reservoir that stretched as far as the eye could see has shrunk an astonishing 90% since summer, officials say. But because of the receding waters, Radib has been able to access some sites for the first time including, for instance, a cliff with a series of pre-Christian tombs carved into its face. The river level is very low, it's the lowest it has ever been that we can remember, says fisherman Saad Naji. We began looking around the area, and we found clay jars and old bones, coins and even some gold jewelry, he says, if Iraq finds major gold reserves, this could be a signal for renewed civil strife between the various tribes there as well as perennially interfering outside powers. All the people especially Muslims reading this are reminded not to pursue this gold, as was instructed by the Prophet. That's it for today. We will meet with another interesting topic very soon.